Ladies, if you wear wigs, weaves, braids, or extensions, and if you're tender-headed like me, or tangled just like me, or have thick hair like mine, or hate giving you hair combs, keep watching! Hi guys, thanks for checking out another TM Hair Products video. Okay, let's jump right into it. In this video, her hair was previously um, detangled, shampooed, deep conditioned, and air dried. So I didn't um, blow dry her hair, I just kind of plaited it. We wasn't in no hurry, we ain't going nowhere. So I just plaited it up and, you know, let it dry naturally. So now we're going to jump into the styling of this uh, tutorial. I am using TM Hair Products Perfect Assist Styling Aid to moisturize her hair. As you can see, her hair is very dry. She just has naturally tightly coiled dry hair. So I have to use a moisturizer to um, braid her hair because her hair will, it, it will be Sahara Desert dry. Like her hair will break because it's so dry and it'll be falling all out all over the place. So for me, I have to keep her hair moisturized and the styling aid is perfect for that. It also fights frizz and when you have active children like mine, this one loves track and field and she loves gymnastics, even though she ain't running on a field right now, but she tumbling and flipping and jumping around the house like it's her gym. But that's not a whole another story. We'll get into that later. But yeah, that's what we're dealing with. So for her, she sweats very easy in her hair. And you know, hair can develop an odor. So the styling aid helps to fight that. So not only does it moisturize, it fights frizz, but it helps to fight that look, that sweaty smell that kids can, or uh, adults too, let's keep it a buck, get in their hair when they're active and they sweat very easy. So now I'm just taking a styling aid down her hair. I use it to braid the root to keep it frizzy, but I just like to take it down the length of her hair too because the ends and the, you know that's the oldest and most fragile part of her hair. So that's what I like to do with that. And this is a cute protective style. What I like about this style is you can redo the top when when we get to it I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. You can redo the top and leave the back. So it's you know for us parents who don't you know, it's depressing when you see your kids just looking a hot mess because they ain't going out. You're like, let me do something with you, but something I don't have to do every day. You know, so this can last you two or three weeks, maybe four if I stretch it. So that's what, what kind of style this is. So it, it's cute. So even if she's able to go for a walk or something like that, um, she looks presentable. So that's what kind of style this is. And, you know, parents who still have to go to work and have to go out you don't want to have to worry about your kids head and all that stuff so i'm doing the zigzag braid pattern i really like this um method to me you use less hair than the straight rows for some reason i don't know if that's my mind or what but to me um i don't have to use as much hair and this also this style is good for getting rid of hair you have that you want to get rid of like this is a, a cute style for that and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use up the hair I have before I order more hair because you would think I'm running a beauty supply in my garage I got so many different boxes and packs of hair so I'm like this is ridiculous I need to get rid of some of this stuff so I'm trying to get rid of a lot of the inventory that I have in terms of um, packs of hair and braided hair and kinky twists and, and two strand twists and so I'm trying to use some of that up before I go into buying more hair to try now as you can see at this point I have not put any water in her hair because the styling aid contains water in itself so it's going to moisturize your hair. So if you're a person who does the lock method, this is like your lock method in a jar. And the reason I like to blow dry her hair is for this very reason. I don't have to comb through it as much to stretch it out when I blow dry it. So again, I'm applying a styling aid to the root of her hair to help fight odor and to moisturize. 
and to keep her hair from breaking because her hair is naturally so dry. Now, to be honest, if I planned on leaving her hair up longer for a longer period of time, I would use more styling aid because I want her hair to stay moisturized for as long as it's in this protective style. But I don't plan on leaving her hair up that long, so I use a less amount. And the styling aid will dry clear. It does not stay white. It will dry clear. And your hair will have a nice luster, a natural shine, like that very healthy hair look that's what the styling aid gives your hair when it's in a natural style or protective style And some of you guys ask me how to braid or how I braid. So that's why I'm taking the time to show you all, you know, a little snippet of this braid pattern. It is always very important to put the moisturizing styling aid on the ends of the hair because that's the oldest and most fragile part of the hair. It's very important to keep the ends of the hair moisturized, all of the hair, but particularly the ends because that's the oldest part of the hair and that's the part that gets all the major damage and wear and tear. So I'm going to do this method to the entire back portion of her hair. So now we're adding the crochet braids and as you can see how her hair has this nice luster, her braids on the side that's dry. Um, the side that I started with first, you see how nice and moisturized her braids look as um, opposed to what they look like when I started. That's what the styling aid does for the hair. It gives it that nice, healthy hair luster look. And these are some little curls I just cut in half. You can wear them longer, but I just cut them in half for her. And see this back part will last probably, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks um, if I make sure she ties it up every night and things like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like for parents who don't want to do much, but you know, you still want to have your kids together, even though they're in the house, you don't want them to just, just get too shabby, you know, but you know, you want to keep them presentable in case you have to run out and go somewhere to the store or something like that you want to keep everybody presentable so this little style is low maintenance all she got to do is tie it up at night and take her bonnet off in the morning and you know boom she's done so i'm just going to like trim some of that to give it a little shape you don't have to do much like i said because you know you ain't going nowhere but in case you got to go to the store or something you want them presentable Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have not already done so, hit the bell notification. Listen, sis, if you have watched more than three videos, we family, boo. You might as well go on and subscribe. Niece, if you have watched more than three videos, we family, niece. You might as well go on and subscribe. 
this is the finished look i just braided the front up and put the rest of the hair in the bun that's why i said i can redo the front she's so dramatic why she turned around with her eyes closed mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's what i'm saying like with this style you can just redo the top and it's a fresh style all over again because the back is all tucked away so this was cute easy simple and she liked it so i told y'all when the dimples come out she like it so there'll be pictures at the end i hope you guys are staying safe be good subscribe hit the bell notification give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys